Hey, Arachne Queen here, and today I am going to try my best to be helpful to the internet today and to concerned people out there. And that is on the topic of, once again, um, dangerously venomous spiders. Uh, like I said in the last video, most of them live pretty much in other countries such as Brazil, uh, Australia, things like that. But we do have um, a few spiders around here that could potentially be harmful to some people. Now by some people, I mean children, small children, and the immune suppressed. Now, if you don't know what immune suppression is, it's when you take a specific type of drug to stop your immune system. Now, you may ask, well, why would somebody take a drug like that? Well, that's because some people's immune systems attack their own bodies. It's called an autoimmune disease. They're bad. There's lots of them out there. Go look it up. You can learn something. And so with the immune suppressed, it also means that the person straight up has no immunity, basically, or very little. Now... Um, there are some spider venoms here in the States that could potentially prove somewhat harmful to those people. Now, I'm not saying this is going to kill you. I'm not saying it's going to cause some horrific life-altering experience. Should you seek medical attention in these situations, were you to be bit? Yeah, probably. However, we're going to just kind of go over the scenarios of what you do in these cases and when you should worry. Okay, so let's get started. To start with, which spiders do you have to look out for? And I'm talking to parents and to once again the immune suppressed because I doubt a young child is gonna understand what I'm saying and if you do, well, awesome, you're, you're a really smart kid. Uh, what, what spiders do you have to worry about? Now, hobo spiders, inconclusive, probably not a big problem and they have no interest in you. In fact, most spiders don't have an interest in you, but humor me. Uh, the Latrodectus, the Black Widow, or the Widow Spiders in general, do potentially have a pretty potent venom. Now, only certain kinds of the Latrodectus have this potentially potent venom, and that's mostly the Southern Black Widows. Um, but like I said, they all do have potentially harmful venom to children and the immune suppressed. I am not talking about normal adults here, okay? If you're a normal adult, disregard what I'm saying, unless you have children and you want to learn. So they do have potentially harmful venom, potentially, emphasis. And what should you do? Should you find a Latrodectus or a Black Widow? Well, step one, don't panic, okay? Calm the heck down. Unless it's on your face or crawling up your freaking nose, which, wow, you really have nothing to worry about. So step one is calm down. Just calm down. Step two, verify something. Is it outside or is it inside your house? If it's outside your house, probably in your yard or in a wood pile or somewhere dark and dank and secluded, leave her alone. She's fine where she is. She's probably made a little home for herself. Probably won't live very long, honestly. The Latrodectus doesn't live very long. She's raising her clutch. She's waiting for a mate. She's getting food. So she's minding her own business. She's not going to go inside your house. If she does, that's incredibly unlikely. And she's just going to leave you alone. Now, once another thing is, what does the Latrodectus look like? Remember, it is the kind of spider with very spindly legs, a black, shiny, bulbous butt, and a red marking on its under abdomen. Now there are some spiders out there that are black and shiny and have that bulbous abdomen. They're not Latrodectus though. Latrodecti. I don't know if that's the plural. Um, so look for that marking. See if you can get maybe an arachnologist or a university nearby to identify it for you if it is a concern for you. Um, so yeah, that's step two. If it's inside your house, once again, let's go back to step one. Don't panic. If it's inside your house for whatever reason, it's probably a male looking for a mate and he got sidetracked. So kindly escort him outside. If you have children or maybe animals and you are concerned about their safety, you don't need to kill the spider. Just escort him outside. How do you do that safely, you ask? If you really want to, you can start out by putting on some gardening gloves if you're really that paranoid. 
Um, some people, I guess, would feel safer doing that. Put on some leather gardening gloves to basically eliminate the risk of being bitten. Now, next, get a cup or a paper cup or whatever and some paper, take cup, scoop under spider, escort and kind of scooch into cup. Keep over cup, go outside, release, ta-da, you humanely rid your house of a spider. You don't need to kill him or her, just gotta let him outside. Now, what do you do if the unfortunate happens and you are bit? Because it does happen, unfortunately. It, it does happen. When a spider gets trapped between skin, guess what it's going to do? It's going to bite. It gets scared. Remember, these things don't have good eyesight. And all it knows is what it's feeling. And I would imagine that's a very frightening feeling. So if it gets scared and it bites and you upset it on accident, I doubt you do that on purpose unless you're stupid. So if it bites you, what do you do? Well, if you're immune suppressed and or a child, call a doctor. If the doctor's not there, there's probably an on-call doctor somewhere, so call a freaking doctor. I doubt you need to call the poison hotline, because it's not something you ingested. I don't think there's a venom hotline. I think there's like a snake bite hotline in some places, because it's a problem for some, but we don't have one of those here. Um... So if the child is complaining of pain, and it might be a painful bite, uh, they have tiny little things though. So if it does develop into a problem, you might have to go to the hospital. They have anti-venom there, okay? If they even need the anti-venom. If you are really concerned and you are bit by a spider that you have seen it bite you, because, I mean, if a house spider bites you, you don't have anything to worry about. But if something that has potentially harmful venom and you saw it bite you, or you're developing strange symptoms, please go to the hospital. There is no shame in going to the hospital and saying, something bit me, or it's great if you can actually catch the spider and take it in with you and say, this bit me, so that they can actually identify exactly what it was that bit you, and it's not just hearsay. And it's not just, oh, well, I think such and such bit me, or I think blah, blah, blah bit me. So go to the hospital, not a big deal. They'll clear it up for you. You're not gonna die unless you left it untreated and it bit you like 15 times, I don't know. It's unlikely and you're not gonna die, so calm down. Remember rule number one, keep calm, just calm down. You're not gonna die. It's not gonna look at you, you're not gonna die. So <clears throat> there you have it, a video on if you should encounter a potentially harmful spider, what do you do? You leave it alone, or you kindly escort it outside. If it bites you and you are somebody who is susceptible to that kind of venom, you go to the hospital. You call a doctor. You get an opinion. If you can't get that opinion, go to the hospital. It's really okay. You're not going to die. Just keep calm. Breathe. Panicking makes everything worse. It really does. As somebody who suffers from panic attacks, panicking makes panicking worse. It's, it's a horrible, vicious cycle. So keep calm. Be happy. And if you find a little spider, you don't know what it is, either escort it outside if you feel uncomfortable or leave him alone. Leave her alone. She'll probably make her way outside soon enough anyway. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video of me rambling about what to do if a spider should bite you and how to handle it like a sane person. So I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, you should leave a like. And if you didn't like it, I guess you can leave a dislike, but that means you're a hater and we all know what haters are gonna do. They're gonna panic when a house spider bites them. So you can subscribe if you really like these videos because I make these videos. And it will help me out a lot if you left a comment. And I will catch you guys next time.